everyone. So today we have the other Dior quint. This is the Promenade Doré from the Dior Holiday Collection. I did an entire video with the Dior Holiday Collection. I did the lipstick and the blushes and the eyeshadow, but I did not have the Promenade Doré, which is this one. Um, and this one was sold out for a little while on the Dior site, and now I have it in hand. So today we're going to use this one on the face. Uh, at the moment, I do have on the blush from the Holiday Collection. This is the, I'm going to make sure I have the right name correctly. Probably not. <laughs> what is the name? Uh, it is Precious Precious Rose. It's the light pink rose. Uh, I really like this blush, like, a lot. It's a really perfect shade for me. It's a very light rose pink. I'll make sure that I link the full Dior Holiday video that I did so you can see that, but um, that is the blush I'm wearing. And also I have on the Holiday Addict lipstick, which isn't really a lipstick. It's more of like a shiny gloss, uh, but that's all I have on my lips today. And then I have on a little bit of bronzer and of course foundation. So let me show you the swatches from the Promenade Doré. And the Promenade Doré is a warmed, toned, neutral. I mean, I talked about this when I did the Night Walk, which is the, the other one, which I'll show you swatches comparing those two. These are great palettes. They're really pretty. The formula is nice. It's not my favorite formula, which was the Dior formula of old, but Dior decided to reformulate. Don't ask me why. But they do look really nice on the eye. But the color story is reminiscent of many other color stories that we already own. And the Night Walk is like that as well. So here's the Night Walk versus the Promenade Doré. The Night Walk is the cool toned on the bottom. The um, Promenade Doré is the warm one on the top. You can see that there are, the gold shade is similar in both of them, uh, but that's, that's really it because the silver shade, the silver shade is actually quite different. Um, it's much deeper. Yeah, it's much deeper in the Night Walk. So they are different palettes. Um, one is grays and, and, and a gold in the middle. This is, you know, warm tans, golds with the silver in the middle, but they are different. They're very different palettes. It just depends on what your color story is and which, which you like better. Again, these aren't, these aren't color stories that you don't have. These are color stories that you probably have. I say that though, as somebody who has a tremendous amount of luxury makeup, if you're starting your collection or you don't have a lot of pieces, or frankly, you use neutrals, cool or warm or truly neutral palettes, and that's all you use, then these are a great addition to that because I think the formula is really nice. All I would say is uh, I like the formulas in the E Saint Laurent, the Clé de Peau, and the new Hermes more than this. That's all I'm saying. The Hermes formula, I really like, and I really like the looks they create. The swatches actually don't swatch as well as these do, but on the eye, I think they look fantastic and they wore extremely well. So I'm going to pick up the rest of the Hermes. This Dior, I think is really pretty, but I, I don't think it's better than those. Now the Hermes is very expensive, so don't get me wrong. It's even more expensive than the Dior. Um, but what I would say is, this is one of those things that it's a good palette, the Night Walk. You'll see the color story of this one. I think it's really nice. I think it, it goes on well. It's like the other Dior palettes that have come out lately. It's good. It's just not my favorite. Like it's not like the ones from Dior before where I bought every single one because I was like, this is the best formula ever. That's all I'm going to say. So um, yeah, <laughs> that's where we are. Let me pull back my hair a little bit so we can see the eye look. Let's go in with this light gold shade. And I will say, just in reference to the Hermes versus Prada, I like them both. I don't want to choose. If I have to choose, I would say, are you somebody who likes much more like unique color stories and more of a pop of color that doesn't necessarily fit with the other colors? Go with the Prada. If you like a more traditional color story, with a pop of color that kind of blends, or at least has the same, you know, family as the other colors, go with the Hermes. <laughs> I am more an Hermes girl when it comes to the color stories because I am somebody who likes more of a monochromatic look. I don't do a lot of shiny. If anything is shiny, I mean, I love shiny, don't get me wrong. I'm like, I, I, made, I told you that story about 
you know, my husband, um, <laughs> when we travel, I'm like shiny. And that's what he does. Anytime he sees me catch something, it, you know, out of the corner of my eye, he's like, oh no, shiny. Um, but for me, the shiny is jewelry or shoes. And it's not even bags. My bags are very understated. They really are. I mean, I love shiny bags, but I don't own any. So my jewelry, my jewelry can be very, um, ostentatious, if you want to call it that. Uh, I choose to believe that it's just uh, dynamic. But uh, yeah, I like shiny, blingy jewelry and shoes. But everything else I own is kind of understated. So even my makeup in general is understated. I like color every once in a while, but to be honest, I don't wear that much of it. Like I, I'm attracted to it, I just don't wear it. I'm using the beige shade. So I am more of a Hermes eyeshadow, uh, girl than a Prada one just because I know myself and I know for the Prada ones I won't reach for them as often even though they're fantastic and the formula is excellent they're just they're a little bit more avant-garde than I am that's all they're more interesting than I am it's really really where we're at all right so we've used these top two shades I'm going to use the gold on the uh, this gold a little bit deeper on the outer corner. Yeah, if I was more interesting, I'd use the Prada ones. I do, like I said, I've used them and I do like them. And I like the fact that the pop of color that's in there is um, soft, because it's like a soft matte. So you can intensify it if you want to. Uh, I do like I do like that a lot. Um, but again, I am just more of, a, of the Hermes color story kind of person. And you know, gotta be true to what you are and be the best whatever you are that you are, um, trying to be somebody else or, you know, take someone else's style doesn't work. Um, and you, you shouldn't want to, you should just be you, but I love like shiny things. And if you don't watch her, I'm sure you watch her, but Cassie Thorpe is amazing. I love her channel and I love her taste, but she is more, as she would say, loud luxury, love her stuff. But I probably wouldn't wear most of it because it's just not me. But some of the jewelry she picks, which is loud luxury, I absolutely love and have definitely like lusted after some of that. So, yeah, we each have our thing. All right, so we've got these three shades on at the moment. I'm gonna take the silver and put it on the eye, just like I did with the gold in the in the night walk, and put that on the eye on the lid, so we can see how these blend together. Silver and gold can definitely go together. It's just sometimes the the gold and silver aren't made in such a way that they go well together. But I will say Dior has done a really good job of making these silvers and golds mesh. Like, so the silver's not, it's cool toned absolutely, but it has the type of formula that can mix into the gold, just like the Hermes does you know, mixes into the other shades and creates, frankly, a new shade, which is exactly what you want. You don't want something that is standing out on its own looking weird. Um, this blends beautifully. And basically what it creates is like a gold silver uh, amalgamation of shades, which is really pretty. Like I said, it's a beautiful, it really isn't a really nice color story. We're gonna use the deepest shade and it's really pretty. It's nothing against the palette. I'm just at a point where I have so much, I have to be picky. I have to be more discerning because, you know, I have these things a million times over. And so unless it really stands out to me, I'm probably gonna be like, yeah, it's okay. Um, if you don't have a lot of makeup or you don't have a lot of warm toned with, you know, like this type of silver in it, uh, anywhere in your collection, this is a great one to pick up but I wanna be honest and not be like, oh yeah, I love the, as I've said in a couple of times in this video, I love the new Hermes, but the color stories are not revolutionary guys, they're average color stories. Okay. Let's blend it out and I'm gonna do a little touch up with outer corners and line the other eye. I cleaned up the eye, lined the, the lower lash line, put a little bit of that cream shade in the inner corner. Like I said, I think it's pretty. I think it's really nice actually, but I feel like I have this, um, I have these colors and honestly, the look that's created with this one, although pretty, I like the Night Walk more. 
That's just me. Now, I think you could build up like the gold in here a little bit more on the outer corner. And I think like here, you could kind of make it a little more intense. But for me, and this might be just my, you know, coloring, I like the silver with the gold more like the more the black silvers with the gold accent than I like the gold with the silver accent. I love the silver shade in here. I think it's beautiful, but I feel like personally this look, I would like it more without the silver. That's just me. Um, it would be more monochromatic, definitely, but I don't think the silver, I don't like it as much with mostly gold and silver. I like it better with the mostly silver and then a little touch of gold. That again, I think that's personal preference. So let me put on some mascara and we'll talk final thoughts. Mascara is on. Like I said, it's a very pretty look. I think it's, you know, nice. It's a holiday. It's, it's sparkly, all those things. Of the two of them, I like the night walk better. I think that's just preference. I like the gray with the touch of gold and I like the gold that's in the night walk. I really, I think it's very pretty. Um, I know I said that they're very similar between these two, but this one does have something different in it. I'm not sure what it is, but like there's a depth to it when you put it on the eye that shows up that I do really like with the silver and black. Maybe it's just because I like the fact that it has a black in it and so it kind of deepens the look um, and also has this white shade, which is very, very sparkly, like very sparkly, but I like that. This one just seems more mundane. I think the word is, which again, that's not a bad thing. It's like a good, neutral, sparkly, not super sparkly, but you know, holiday palette. It's just, it's not one of my favorites. That's all I would say. I would say this one seems to go with the Attic Lipstick, which I, like I said, I have on, which is that um, shiny gold uh, shimmer. And then the Night Walk goes more with the Luminizer in that hollow silver. You know, it's more, I don't know, it's just more. Like it's it's more interesting, it's more unique, it's more special, I guess, is, is the way I would look at it. I love the blush. I really love the blush. I think the blush is awesome. The luminizers are awesome. I love the case. I think the case is stunning. The lipstick that goes in it, as I've said now a million times, is really a shiny topper. It's very pretty, but there's not a lot of pigment there. So it's not, I, for the price, I think you could find something. Um, I, I would go with the luminizers. Again, that's just me. Uh, so that's my take on it. Again, I'll just give you a close up of the eye look. As I've said before, and I said in the Rose Tees video with Tom Ford, I am at least proficient enough at this point, and I'm sure many of you are as well, to, if not all of you, to make a, a palette look appealing in, in the way that you want it to look on your eyes that doesn't necessarily completely translate to it's a great palette. It's a good palette. If I were gonna buy one, I'd get the Nightwalk. That's just me. So I'd love to hear what you picked up from the collection. I'd love to hear what your thoughts are. I'm gonna have in November um, gift, like gift idea videos. I'm gonna have makeup, I'm gonna have other things. Let me know if you want just makeup um, or do you want a makeup slash like other ideas video or do you want them like to be separate? So one makeup, one like other things, um, like a fashion, you know, candles, that kind of stuff. I can split them up or I can put them in one big video. It, it's whatever you guys, whatever you guys want for me, let me know. And then for December, I am thinking of ideas for uh, giveaways. So let me know what you think. All right. Thanks so much, guys. I hope to see you in another video really soon.